There's a lot of really good music for the Game Boy that I absolutely love listening to. But what are my favorite Game Boy soundtracks? So, not just single songs from games. Because, sure, uh, Metal Masters might have the best song ever on an of officially licensed Game Boy game. But it's also pretty much the only song in the entire game. So that will not be included in the list. <laughs> but uh, games where most or all of the music is just just the best of the best. Just really good quality. And that I like listening to, even outside of the game. So for this list, the, um, I only included games that play on the original Game Boy. So no Game Boy Color only games and no Game Boy Advance games. I purposely skipped uh, the million sellers, games that sold over a million copies. I won't be talking about Pokemon games or Super Mario games, uh, games like that. They've been talked about a lot. Oh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, those are outstanding. They have <laughs> really, really good soundtracks. But uh, most people know those, so I skipped those, just to make this list more interesting. I'm not including any ports, even though a Game Boy game might have an outstanding soundtrack. If it's a port of an NES game, for example, then they will not be included in this list. So like DuckTales games, or Mega Man games, or most of the Mega Man games. Also I decided, just in general, to kind of avoid uh, games based on TV shows or movies. For example, the Smurfs has a really good soundtrack, but you know, it's kind of just music from the show. So here are my top five Game Boy soundtracks. Number five. The Sword of Hope 2. This is a turn-based RPG that was released in 1991. So the graphics in this game are incredibly basic. All you get is a tiny little window that just shows you like a static image of where you're currently standing in the world. Uh, other than that, uh, all of the atmosphere and uh, kind of the feel of the game comes from uh, the descriptive text, which is a lot of fun. Uh, and very much so the music. Uh, there's a lot of tracks in this game uh, for all the different places you visit and they all match the uh, the environment of the world you're in really really nicely. I mean my goodness in this game I love this game so much. So you travel from like I mean there's the ancient ruins you explore, there's an underwater city, there's a castle in the sky, and all these locations have original music that matches really nicely. Oh, the desert theme. When you step out of the forest into the desert for the first time, it's one of my, it's one of my favorite uh, moments in video game history. Number four. Revelations, the Demon Slayer. Released for the Game Boy Color in 1991, but backwards compatible with the Game Boy. So the story in this game is an absolute confusing mess, paired up with gameplay that is incredibly generic and rather boring. Uh, despite all this, I spent hours and hours playing through this game multiple times, and that's mostly because of the soundtrack. There's not too many music tracks in this game, but the music it has is really nice. Number three. 
Kirby's Block Ball. This is a spin-off game in the Kirby series that came out in 1996. So most of the Kirby games have excellent music, uh, but in my opinion this game really stands out. There's like 11 worlds you play through, and uh, each one has unique music. I think a lot of the Kirby games have uh, really cute, uh, upbeat, peppy music, which this game does as well. But I think this game just goes one step above in including, uh, I don't know how to phrase it, like music that's just a little more grounded, like a little more melodic, a little more intricate, and it's really nice, even to listen to on its own. Number two. Ninja Gaiden Shadow. This is an action game released in 1991. So this one's cheating a little bit um, because some of the music in the game is from the NES games. Uh, in my opinion, even, even though they're ports from the NES, they still sound better on the Game Boy. Uh, this game is a great example of music on the Game Boy that has, uh, it's really, really full and fleshed out. So the highs are high, but they're never like tinny and empty sounding. Uh, the lows are really deep and filling. Uh, the beat matches the action on the screen. It's just nice, solid action music that uh, fits the game so well. And number one, Castlevania II, Belmont's Revenge. This game was also released in 1991. Like the last game, it has really beautiful high uh, melodies and uh, really nice bass lines. Uh, this game is also a little special in that uh, the developers seem to have, a lot, have had a lot of fun with uh, playing with the stereo sound on the Game Boy. Almost every song makes use of the left and right speakers. I only started playing this game uh, relatively recently, and oh my goodness, I fell in love with it uh, almost immediately. Uh, the gameplay is really fun. The music just knocks it out of the park. So this last game is a special mention. This is a bullet hell game for Game Boy called Dangan GB that was released in 2019. So this was developed by two people who had been collaborating on Game Boy demos for some time. They have quite a few of them and uh, the composer really knows how to make full use of the Game Boy hardware. 
I recommend checking out their stuff.